uh, welcome all today i am going to talk about what treatment technologies uh, first talk about introduction what treatment technologies are essential for ensuring access to safe and clean drinking water in this presentation we will discuss different water treatment technologies used to purify water for various purposes Uh, the various types of water treatment technologies available including uh, physical chemical and the biological processes these technologies are used to different applications such as um, municipal water treatment industrial uh, water treatment and the wastewater treatment the most common water treatment technologies include filtration disinfection sedimentation coagulation and the reverse osmosis the choice of water treatment technologies depend on type of levels uh, of contaminant present in water as well as the intended use of treated water and now we talk about water treatment new methods the water treatment technologies there are three categories physical chemical and the biological physical include sedimentation filtration membrane filtration uv disinfection chemical uh, the chlorination ozonation coagulation and flocculation and the ph adjustment biological activated sludge constructed wetland aerated lagoons and the anaerobic digestion and new lot of methods to water treatment technologies are available today uh, now talk about the coagulation and the flocculation process the coagulation and the flocculation are chemical process used to remove suspended solids turbidity and color from water the suspended particles can include sediment dirt an organic matter that can make water look cloudy and affect its taste and the odor the in the coagulation process chemicals uh, uh, such as alum or ferric chloride are added to water to neutralize the electrical charges of the particles and the flocculation process a uh, gentle stirring motion causes the particles to clump together making it easier to remove the, uh, from the water and the, this uh, coagulation and the flocculation are used in industrial water treatment to remove suspended solids from uh, process water and the effectiveness of the this coagulation and flocculation depend on several factors including the type and the concentration of suspended particles the type of coagulant used and the ph and the temperature of the water uh, now talk about the sedimentation process the sedimentation is a process used in water treatment to remove suspended particles Uh, from water to the force of gravity and the suspended particles in water can include sediment dirt and organic matter that can make water look cloudy and the effects it taste and the odor this uh, allows the larger particle to settle the bottom leaving clear water at the top Uh, and the settled particles are removed and clarified water is sent uh, for the further treatment and the sedimentation is also used in industrial water treatment to remove suspended solid from process water uh, the effectiveness of sedimentation depend on several factors including the type and concentration of the suspended particles and the size and design of sedimentation tank 
and the flow rate of the water to the tank. Uh, this is the filtration process. Uh, the filtration is the process of removing small particles from water. Uh, the most common types of filters are used sand, gravel and activated carbon. The water passes through these filters which trap the particles and remove uh, them from the water. This is the small description about the filtration process. Uh, now talk about disinfection. Disinfection is a critical process in water treatment that helps to kill harmful microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses and uh, parasites that can cause waterborne diseases. There are several methods of disinfection used in water treatment include chlorination, osmation, UV irradiation and membrane filtration. The chlorination involves the addition of chlorine to water which reacts with microorganisms and destroys them. And the ozonation involves the use of ozone gas to kill microorganisms in water. The UV irradiation uses ultraviolet light to destroy microorganisms in water. And the membrane filtration involves the use of membrane that physically removes microorganisms from water. This is the main information of about the disinfection process. Now talk about electro deionization. Electro deionization or EDI is a water treatment process that uses electrical electricity to remove impurities from water. The EDI combines two established water treatment technologies. These are iron exchange and the electrodialysis. Uh, EDI is a high effective in removing impurities from water, including dissolved salts, minerals and heavy metals. And EDI is a commonly used in production of ultra pure water for industries such as electronics or power generation. By preventing in EDI technologies, we can ensure access to clean and safe water for various industrial applications. It uses an electrical field to attract and remove uh, ions from the water. Uh, now talk about the desalination. Desalination is the process of removing salt and other minerals from seawater or brackish water to produce fresh water for various applications. This technology is a crucial in areas where fresh water resources are limited. There are se several methods of desalination including several reverse osmosis, distillation and electrodialysis. Desalination has several applications including providing drinking water, irrigation water and process water for uh, industries. Desalination can also have environmental impact such as discharge of concentrated brine into ocean. Uh, now talk about media filters. Media filters are type of water treatment technologies that removes particulate matter from water. Media filtration is a water treatment process that involves passing uh, water through a bed of filtration media such as sand, gravel and charcoal. The media in the filter bed traps suspended solids, turbidity 
and other impurities in the water as it passes to the bed. As water passes to the filter bed, suspected particles are trapped in the media and clean water is collected for use. Media filters can be used for various applications such as drinking water treatment, irrigation and industrial processes. The media filters require periodic backwashing to remove accumulated particulate matter and maintain the efficiency of the filter. We will now talk about softener filters. The softener filters are a type of water treatment technology that removes hardness of the water. Hardness refers to the presence of minerals such as calcium and magnesium in water that can cause scaling and other problems. The softener filters used in iron exchange resin to remove hardness from water by exchanging sodium ions from calcium and magnesium ion. As water passes through the softener filter, the ion exchange resin captures the hardness minerals and releases sodium ions resulting in softened water. Softener filters are common used in residential and commercial application to improve the quality of water for various uses such as bathing, laundry and dishwashing. The softened fill water is then sent for further treatment or distribution. I will now talk about iron removal filtration. <coughs> the iron removal filtration is a type of water treatment technology that removes iron from water. Iron can be present in water sources, especially in groundwater and cause staining fall loaders and other problems. Iron removal filtration uses a bed of filter media such as manganese green sand to remove iron from water. And the water passes to the filter bed. Dissolved iron is oxidized and trapped in the media resulting in clean water. Iron removal filtration can be used for various applications such as drinking water treatment, irrigation and industrial processes. Iron removal filtration requires periodic backwashing to remove accumulated iron and maintain the efficiency of the filter. This is the carbon filtration. Carbon filtration is a type of water treatment technology that removes organic contaminant from water. Organic contaminant can include substances such as chlorine, pesticides and volatile organic carbons, volatile organic compounds that can be present in water sources. Carbon filters use activated carbon to remove organic contaminants from water by adsorption. As water passes through the filter, organic contaminants are attracted to the surface of the activated carbon and held there resulting in clean water. Carbon filters can be used for various applications such as drinking water treatment, aqua rhythm and industrial processes. The carbon filters require periodic replacement or generation to maintain the efficiency of the filter. 
uh, this first uh, slide talk about the reverse osmosis filtration reverse osmosis filtration is a type of water treatment technology that produced high quality water by removing dissolved salts and other contaminant uh, reverse osmosis filtration works by applying pressures to water and forcing it to a semi permeable membrane that separate dissolved solid and other contaminant from water RO filtration is effective in removing various contaminant including salt minerals bacteria and the viruses and the RO filtration is most commonly used for drinking water treatment as well as industrial processes such as uh, pharma surgical manufacturing and semiconductor applications and uh, this filtration can produce high quality water with the low mineral content making it useful applications that require water uh, with special properties and the RO filtration requires periodic cleaning and maintenance to maintain the efficiency of the system now talk about the alkaline filter alkaline filter is a type of water filter that raises the ph level of the water by adding minerals such as calcium magnesium and potassium to the water alkaline filters can also help reduce the negative effect by acidic water such as corrosion and staining and this process believed to provide health benefits such as improving digestion boosting the immune system and reducing inflammation the alkaline filters can be used for various applications such as drinking water treatment and in food service settings and the alkaline filters require periodic replacement or regeneration to maintain the efficiency of the filter now talk about the uv filter uv filter or ultraviolet water purifier is a water treatment system that uses ultraviolet light to kill harmful microorganisms such as bacteria viruses and protozoa in water the water is passes uh, to a chamber contain a uv lamp which emits high energy uv light that disrupts the dna of microorganisms preventing them from reproducing and rendering them harmful uv filters do not remove other types of contaminants such as sediment minerals or chemicals and are typically used in combination with other types of filters such as sediment or carbon filters and the Uh, UV filters are commonly used in residential and commercial water treatment systems as well as in hospitals laboratories and other settings where water purify is critical this is the summary of my today uh, video the water treatment technologies play a crucial role in providing access to safe and clean drinking water different water treatment technologies are used based on the sources and quality of water and the intended use and it is essential to understand these technologies and their applications to ensure the availability of safe and drinking water for all and thank you very much for watching my video and uh, Uh, please subscribe like 
and share my videos